Okay. Hi, and welcome to the next chapter. My name is Mike Keating, and we're glad you're here. Again, I thank you so much for all the messages and the cards and the letters and everything else. In fact, uh, I got a card uh, this last week from England congratulating me on the new show from Anita Webster at, uh, it looks like, Charrington, Surrey in England. So we want to give a great big shout out to her. And uh, thank you so much for the cards and so much for the encouragement. And more importantly, so much for all the thank yous, the, the likes, the shares, and the rating us up so high. We really do appreciate that on Facebook and on YouTube. So definitely keep up the good work. I really do appreciate it. And let us know what types of shows you want to see as well. And that, um, so let's get started. Becoming Forge Fit. I am Forge Fit. I am Forge Fit. I am Forge Fit. I'm Forge Fit. We are Forge Fit! Hi, and welcome back. And that, I'm Mike Keating. Today we're going to be doing a show that I've wanted to do since we first started this whole TV show. And that a, a very, very good friend of mine is on the show. Her name is Corky Miller. And she's next to impossible to get because she's always working on movies, TV, uh, live shows, commercials. Every time I say, can you come on the show? She says, well, no, I've got to be in Atlanta filming a movie. Or I've got to be over in... Uh, North Carolina, we're doing a TV show. So it's been next to impossible to get her because she is so good. She's the owner of Action Animals, and um, I've got lots and lots of friends, and she's definitely one of them. <laughs> no, she's actually probably my best friend. It's Corky Miller. Hi, Corky. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Michael. I'm so happy to be here. Finally, finally made it over. Yeah, I'm glad you did, and you brought a guest. I did bring a guest, and hopefully we'll get through this interview without either one of us losing any limbs. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that, you didn't RSVP, but that's okay. <laughs> We're happy to see you. This is Puzzle. Yeah. Hi, Puzzle. It's going to be yeah. one of the stars of the... Uh, uh, Smoky Mountain Opry Christmas show, right? Uh, Magic Beyond Belief. Magic Beyond Christmas Belief. Show. Christmas yeah, show. Yeah, he's yeah. going to we get him worked in there. Um, and he'll probably be in about the second week of November, we're hoping, we're shooting for. Wow. Um, so. Oh, he's a sweetheart. <laughs> oh, I know. He wants to play. <laughs> yeah. No, well, he wants to eat you. Oh, he wants to eat me. Okay, <laughs> well, there you go. Well, one of the reasons I wanted to bring Corky on, and we're going to hopefully have her on again to show you how to train dogs and a few other things, but I wanted to do something very special. Not too long ago, I was in L.A. working on a project, and it happened that Corky was in L.A. Uh, being honored for the 25th anniversary of Groundhog Day. Yeah. Now, nobody knows all the really cool things that you do, and you've done so many. <laughs> And if we were to go through them, we'd run out of time before we got to the end of them. <laughs> but, and I want to spend time on Groundhog Day. So uh, she invited me to the gala. They had this great big gala at the Academy Awards Center. And, that, and so we're there at the gala with the stars and with the uh, producer and yeah. everybody else. And, that, and she's on the panel. And she stole the show. 
She absolutely was amazing <laughs> in that. And I wanted to share some of that amazingness with you guys today. Uh, first of all, thank you again for taking me to the, uh, the thing. That was great and that I really, really enjoyed myself. But tell us about Groundhog Day. How did you ever get booked for Groundhog Day? Oh my, that was a very long time ago when I was first starting in the business. And as you might imagine, I was pretty excited when I get this call from Columbia Films. And mm -hmm. they basically call me up and they say, uh, and I say, hello, you know, Action Animals. And actually it was Animal Rentals at the time. Uh -huh. And they said, uh, oh, this is Columbia Films calling and we're interested in hiring you for, for a movie if you do Groundhogs. And so immediately I said, yes, I never had dealt with a groundhog, never <laughs> trained one, never anything, but I'm thinking, I, I can do that. I've, I've trained everything else, so why not, you know? Uh -huh. So uh, so anyway, immediately after hanging up on the phone, I'm calling all my friends, and this is pre-internet, pre-Facebook, you know, we're talking Rolodex, going through Back in it. the Stone Ages, Ca yeah. yeah. calling your friends and networking, saying, hey, do you know anybody that's got a groundhog? If you don't have one, do you know anybody? And slowly, I got together about 15 groundhogs groundhogs wow. for the for the movie to start training we wanted to have backups because uh you know it's groundhogs and yeah. they have a you know they have an attention span of about a minute and uh so we needed to have some backups now i literally got 15 barely hand tamed groundhogs who that were kind of a little bit vicious and uh -huh. we literally trained them to be handleable by suiting up in our hockey outfits <laughs> and uh you know mask Hazmat and everything suits, yeah. yeah and holding them while somebody fed them treats and we would do that every day until they got comfortable with being held which wow. is which is basically what they said he had to do he said he just has to come out of a hole and be held i thought great well at the time my my friend bill and i worked together and bill went to the production meeting while i uh -huh. stayed home and worked all the groundhogs and he comes back from the Groundhog uh, production meeting, and I said, well, how'd it go? He says, oh, it went great. I said, so the Groundhog has to come up out of home. Oh, they want him to drive a truck. They want him to look <laughs> right. They want him to look left. They want him to do this and that. And I was like, oh, my, wow. what have, you know, what have I gotten myself into? So the first day on location, uh, I meet Bill Murray, uh -huh. and he, he basically called me an ugly rat wrangler. <laughs> and I said, uh, where do you put the comma in that? Because that's kind of important, you know. Is it ugly, comma, rat wrangler? Or is it ugly, rat, comma, wrangler, you know. Well, there so, you are. So anything. I'm going to let him run back right oh, quick. Okay. Come here, buddy. Bye -bye, you want to go, you wanna go home? Come on. Yeah, usually when you get going into a, a movie <laughs> and stuff like that, you never know what's going to happen. And yeah. I found out that... Uh, I get lines like five seconds before you actually begin to go on set. Right, exactly. And then it's like, yeah, you got to learn these five pages of dialogue. <laughs> right. It's like, what? Exactly. And that, so I've done that a bunch of times. I certainly yeah. un completely understand where you're at. Right. And they come up with stuff on the fly. They say, well, that's really great. But can you do a tightrope walk? Right. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. And the more you do, the more they want you to do oh, I because know. they get confidence. Like, you know, if the dog actually performs the first performance, they're like, oh, well, we got that. Can he do this? And it just keeps steamrolling, you know. Well, we actually worked on a movie together with Milo Vestimente in that right. from, from Heroes and stuff that's like right. that. And I kept on remembering that, you know, they'd get a, a shot and they said, this is great, this is great, this is great. Can you do a backflip? <laughs> Can you do? <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> right, and exactly. So, uh, it, was, it was crazy. Yeah. yeah it's always crazy. You anyway, know. let's get back to Bill Murray. So, uh, so first day on the set, uh -huh. uh, we're going to shoot the scene, the classic scene that you see in Groundhog Day with the, the groundhog driving, on yeah. the steering wheel. And, you don't know, a lot that, of people yeah. don't know this, but we probably did at least... 10 other scenes with the groundhogs that never made it into the movie. Oh, really? I mean, like, my best work is always on the editing room floor, and including I had a, a little uh, part where I played Bill Murray's girlfriend in a biker scene, and they decided <laughs> it wasn't quite Disney-esque when they uh -huh. finished the movie because Groundhog Day did have that family appeal. And that was a little, it was a little rough, 
So they left that one out. For what it's worth, I'll always think of you as a biker chick. Thank you. There you are. Because I was for that day. There you and, are. And uh, so anyway, uh, so when we shoot this, it's it's literally a trailer with a, a, a shell of a car and the film crew mm -hmm. on it. And then they tow the whole thing down the road. So it's all moving together, you mm -hmm. know, uh, pre-CGI, pre-any animation. This is the real deal, you know. Yeah. And so I'm literally sitting between Bill Murray's legs holding the groundhog up on the steering wheel and if you notice when you go back and look at the film now that you know these things you'll see that the groundhog is going chewing because I'm literally stuffing his mouth not stuffing I'm giving him bananas and he's you know to keep him from biting Bill Murray because groundhogs are just biters you know they just did he like bite Bill Murray um, he did eventually <laughs> yeah and uh, it was because I kept saying to Harold Ramis we need to switch groundhog oh we're getting great stuff we're getting great stuff and <laughs> even there was an ad lib from Bill Murray where he's going don't drive angry don't drive yeah, angry Classic. And that was not even in the script, but the groundhog was going, rrr, rrr, and he's, <laughs> and you don't hear it in the film, but Bill Murray's going, don't drive angry, don't drive angry. So yeah, it wasn't too long after that. It didn't break his skin or anything. He had on gloves, if you notice, as a kind of a precaution. Uh -huh. But as soon as he, he got bit, which it did nothing, didn't even leave a scratch, he yeah. literally, they stopped filming. He gets out of the car, he jumps off the trailer, he staggers over, falls to the ground and starts, you know, <laughs> riffing like he has, you know, immediately caught in rabies and died from it, you know, so that was, that was kind of fun. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think one of the most other funny stories about the groundhogs is we had 15 groundhogs in these little plastic very kennels. Anybody that's ever had a pet dog carrier, they know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And one thing about groundhogs is they will chew out of anything. You learn these things as you go along. But we were so proud we had 15 brand new matching very kennels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stacked up in this van ready to go to work and we had a couple of groundhogs out working and we were out working a couple of hours and I come back and almost every single very kennel had been chewed through. Oh, no. And if you've ever seen a Richard Scary book for kids where all the little animals are <laughs> doing things, thing, yeah, yeah, that's what these guys were doing. Like there was, you know, they were tanning in the front window, you know, a couple were playing cards in the back. I mean, a few, yeah, I get few this put the you shade. Go up to the side thing yeah. <laughs> all of a sudden there's a groundhog in your face. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so that was an ordeal to get them all back together. Yeah, how'd you get them in the, uh, well, you couldn't get it back in the box because it was all destroyed. <laughs> well, we literally uh, pretty much uh, duct taped and wired most of the cages back together in in an effort to just get home with them. Yeah, so you went which from looking we professional much, to the Beverly Hillbillies. We, like, yeah, we did. We and we made it home and uh, uh, very very funny story. A year later, I actually had to go out to Washington D.C. Uh -huh. not Washington D.C. but Washington State to shoot a commercial with a groundhog uh -huh. and. They had got my name from Columbia Films. So oh, cool. here me and a groundhog are flying, and I was not taking any chances that that groundhog was going to get out on that flight because, you know, I could just see the headlines. Some wires were chewed through. No, you know, the, <laughs> plane crashes. The, the plane Ohio, crashes. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So uh, I literally welded together a little, you know, cage with wire and everything and mm -hmm. then put that inside the very kennel mm -hmm. so he was he was behind bars for that trip you know uh -huh. but uh we made it out there safely so it's well, all good, it's all good. <laughs> good. it wasn't like i wasn't sitting there going Hope that car goes really safe. Hope that car goes Yeah, I can imagine you're like sitting in your seat going, okay, what's the groundhog I'm doing now? Waiting yeah. for the blinking lights, you know, and the sirens and the, oh. you know. <laughs> you're just lucky that they don't have the cell phones back then. And, right. Uh, <laughs> the lady's yeah. like sweating on this, this flight. You know, she must be a terrorist. Right. Exactly. She looks, she looks nervous. <laughs> well, that was such an amazing movie. We actually got the chance to screen the movie there. And right. I've forgotten how amazing that movie actually was. Yeah, it was a it, really classic. It really is a good movie. Yeah. And that, and well, you've done a million other things since then. Yeah. You've done the Hogan's. You've done, gosh, right. you know, so yeah. many movies, so many things. And I've been busy these last, as you know, trying to get yeah. me here. Been crazy busy these last few months. I mean, it seems like you know when the weather cools down, uh -huh. um, film work just kind of goes crazy. Yeah. Either that, or all the other animal wranglers died in the last three weeks. I'm not sure which. Well, I think part <laughs> of it is. Uh, 
everybody tries to rush and get their projects finished before Christmas time and before the first of the year because <laughs> financial things change after the first of the year right. and then, of course they lose all the people during Christmas time. So right, yeah. They rush in yes. October, November. You're going to be so busy. Yeah, I've been and so that, busy. Yeah. I, I remember that I've had to fly out to, uh, yeah. They say, okay, we need you here tomorrow for uh, this film thing. And it's right. like, um, uh, yeah, I can be there, sure. Um, why so quickly? Yeah, can't we exactly. Do I'm but shooting a John Deere commercial mm -hmm. on Halloween. Wow. And I'm shooting a Google commercial the day before. Uh, one's in uh, sh uh, Charleston, South Carolina, uh -huh. and the other one's in Greensboro, North Carolina. And I just got off shooting um, for... Uh, Palm, I think it's called Palm Meadow Resort down near Hilton oh, yeah, yeah, Head. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did a big that. commercial for them, and before wow. that, I did a coastal uh, banking, I think it's called, uh, where I had all four dogs of my uh, on set at one time. My personal dogs. Yeah. Which, that doesn't always happen, but that was. That you was don't a know that she's got an actual zoo at her house. <laughs> I mean, it's not just the house, it's got all the cages around it, you've got <laughs> monkeys and lynx and servals <laughs> right. and you name it, they're yeah. all there, yeah. plus a private zoo right. elsewhere that right. has all the big animals. Right, and that. exactly. So, yeah, so. if you ever need to hire somebody to, to do commercials <laughs> or TV, this is the lady to go to. She well, really thank is you. good. You're very and kind. That, uh, we've, I've been very, very lucky. Okay. I got a chance to work with you at the Opry and, right. that, uh, and yeah, with Hollywood, which is this you big... Excellent. Big white tiger. Uh, yeah. I love him. I just I absolutely know. love him. And, uh, How can and you Roger, not love him? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's just a, such a sweetheart. Well, he's a good And that, he's and the servals. And, and yeah. yeah, I get a chance to do the magic over there at the office. Yeah, you and did now a you're doing job. the magic with Darren Romeo yeah. over there, which is very cool. Yeah, and, and that's then, every day, regardless of all this other stuff. Yeah. And thankfully, I have an awesome person who helps me, uh, Ashley Mills, who yeah. happens to be getting married today. So I'll give a big shout so out, give to a shout out to her Ashley. and Scott Johnson. And uh, I'll be at that wedding at 2. So, you wow. know, when we finish up here. So I'm, talk fast so you get through uh, yeah, the interview. Yeah. I get through this, get the cat home, run home, get changed, get a different vehicle, you know, not the zoo vehicle, and, and head on over to yeah, the, I, I the know. venue. Uh, just your coming here is a big deal because I know that you're <laughs> so busy. We try to get together for a movie or something like that. It's like, okay, well, I've got the third day in March free of 2027. Are you free that day? Only no. between the hours of 6 and 9. Oh, no movie playing then? Okay. She always does that, too. It's just like, okay, I can go see the movie at 6.38. I can't go to any others, but it's like... That's right. Okay. Well, we, we do have a good time. I'm so excited about your new show. And it's fun. I, I get just, a chance to I, see people like you. And you've lost so much weight, and so it must be working. It is working. So you and look great. I'm actually... I just went in for to have my eyes looked at underneath my eyes. Yeah. One of the comments we got is, uh, you know, it was a great show. Boy, you look like you're tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? And then, so I talked to people and stuff like that, and they said, I've got dark circles under my eyes. Yeah. Now, I don't wear makeup. I'm not wearing makeup at all, and I should, because it's TV, and you should do that. Right. But I'm a guy, and we don't. Yeah. So, I'm a girl, uh, and I don't. You know, so <laughs> anyway, so I went over to Breathe, and they were actually starting me on a six-week program, in which they're doing using a red laser to That's get rid cool. of all the uh, dark darkness under my eyes yeah so we'll see in six weeks we'll actually have breathe on here as well yeah so anyway i think we got a few more minutes sure. uh, tell us anything more about uh about uh, groundhog day because that's uh, <laughs> it was such a cool experience <laughs> Well, let's see. What now, you had I... groundhog. You had a groundhog in the walls of your... Oh, yeah, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. had heard about this. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, so I, all the groundhogs got loose, and, mm -hmm. and we managed to snag all 14 of them at the end of the day and get them into their housing at home in nice, restful, large areas where they could relax before their, you know, show the next day, except uh -huh. for one. And he had gotten in the... He had chewed a hole and gotten in the wall of the van, the back van because it had like paneling or something you know uh -huh. and he'd gotten in behind that paneling you know wow. and you could literally tap on the wall and he'd go ee! you know <laughs> and so we <laughs> that's how we found him you know we're like tap 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 ee! found him you know so and what do you do put like a banana on a string well and, and... i was done i was over it i it was a bit a long day uh it you know i was just exhausted uh -huh. and but bill you know it it bothered him you yeah. know, it didn't bother me because we're I was... talking about your bill, not Bill Murray. Yeah, we're talking about my bill. And, uh, and it, it really bothered him. And I said, I said, well, you know, you have at it. I'm going to bed. But I said, he'll be out in the morning, you know. Uh -huh. He's going to get hungry, yeah. you know. And I, I, was, 
I felt confident, and maybe I shouldn't have, but I felt confident that he would not eat through the metal wall of the van <laughs> and escape into the Chicago night. And terrorize <laughs> people, yeah. Right. So, uh, um, so I went, I, you know, I go to bed, and I'm a second floor looking down on the street, and I can see the little light in the van, and I can see some shadows moving back and forth, <laughs> and, and I can see the van doing, you know, these little shakes and everything, and, and I was like, okay, I'm, you know, I'll go to bed. And then about 3 a.m. or so, I don't remember, you know, there's a knock at the bedroom door, and it's like almost like one of those scary movies where the door goes, and the light yeah. from the hallway silhouettes Bill, and he's got, you know, like this groundhog under one arm, and you can kind of see his hair's all disheveled, and, you know, and he goes, I got him! You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, good three job. Three o'clock in the morning, yeah. Good job, good wow. night. We got a 6 a.m. call. You better get some sleep. But we worked on that film uh, 20, uh, I think it was 28 days. And we got paid a pretty good fee as Wranglers. I think at that time, for both of us, I think we got eight hundred and fifty dollars a day. Wow, that's a good and it was, you know, it was the yeah. nineties yeah, or no, it was the eighties. Twenty years ago, whatever. Yeah, years it was. Ago. Yeah, <laughs> back yeah. when I was three. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, when uh, no, it was, yeah, it was the nineties. It was like ninety five or something like yeah, that, four or three or two or one. Anyway, uh, math is not good. That's why I'm an animal wrangler. But. Uh, uh, we also got paid as extra because if you watch the movie, Bill is mm -hmm. the guy holding the groundhog. He's yes, he the is. only one yeah, with, the yeah, beard. with the beard. Yeah, he plays and, the, the mayor. Yeah, yeah, he plays the you know the guy that goes and gets the not the mayor but the one of the elite groundhog grabber guys <laughs> that they oh, actually the, the that they actually have in <laughs> Puxatawney Field. If uh, Puxatawney, um, th we they actually flew us all up there to see the sh uh, the whole thing on Groundhog Day so we could be, like, experience now, it. Did you film in Pakistani as well? No, we filmed oh, in uh, Woodstock, Illinois, ah. and uh, which was about an hour, hour and a half out of, out of Chicago. Wow. And we were based in Chicago at that time, which was probably part of the reason, you know, that we got the job, which, but that was cool. It was That's right place, cool. right time, so it was really... Really awesome. Wow. Yeah. So well, I know we're getting to the end of the segment right now, but right. Uh, you can uh, catch your animals in, <laughs> in Darren Romeo's uh, Magic Beyond Belief. They start the Christmas show. When do they start it? I think November 2nd. November 2nd, yeah. No November 1st for the Smoky Mountain Opry Christmas show, and November 2nd for um, the uh, Magic Beyond Belief. And I believe there's a couple of days at the end of October where there are no shows mm -hmm. because. They the do changes. all this huge preparation. Yeah, both, yeah. both shows are going to be amazing. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be fun to do something different after being doing the same show for five yeah. year, or four years with Darren Romeo. And now we, it'll be his first Christmas show. So um, cool. we're going to add uh, Fuzzle to the show, which will give it something a little new personality. And you'll, you'll see a lot of your stuff on yeah. everywhere. If you look on TV anywhere, <laughs> you, know, yeah. you can't go five minutes without seeing one of your commercials or one of your TV shows. Or, <laughs> Probably not quite that much, but yeah, it's fun. And and also we worked on, uh, we did a lot of Homicide Hunter this season. Oh, that's cool. This past season. And um, they're getting ready to, they just finished Homicide Hunter season. And we did four episodes with four different types of animals. Wow. We had dog on one and a hawk on one and a cat on one and birds on one. Well, cool. Uh, just a little cocktail. So, well, and we're going to be doing their next season too. Wow, hopefully. that's very so, cool. We'll catch you on, on uh, yeah. Homicide Hunters. And mm -hmm. that's it for us today. Thank you so much for, for joining us. And please, please go on Facebook and YouTube and all that and like us and share us and rate us and, and show us that we're doing good. If you have any questions or if you have any ideas for shows, definitely let us know. We'll catch you later and have the best life possible.
Betty? I am Forge Fit. I'm becoming Forge Fit. I am Forge Fit. I am Forge Fit. I am Forge Fit. I'm Forge Fit. We are Forge Fit!